Tuesday's Dynamite. I'm not going to blow myself up. Laughs explode on power of beats and blunders. Then a jack swinging day's over. Because he's trapped in the freezer with Burley, three's company. Then a new love delivers a low blow. Your husband knows about us, doesn't he? Hotel. And a nightmare holds the key to a killer's ID. But she'll never live to tell. Heart to heart. Tomorrow, all starting at 8, 7 Central and Mountain. There's no emergency at the steam pit. Oh, Hillary, I can explain. No, you invited me over for lunch. You made up an excuse and then just left so Tad could move in. The only reason I did it was because so the two of you could be alone. I thought maybe if you got together without any outside interference that you could work things out. No, you were wrong. Anyway, we weren't alone for long. Liza Colby showed up on top of everything. Liza? Yes, she was looking for you. And I don't know whether or not you were in this, but Jenny, how could you trick me like that? Hillary, Jenny didn't mean to hurt you. No, she knew how I felt, and you didn't respect it. I honestly thought I was helping. Helping? Jenny, we talked about how I was feeling. First of all, my father has been made a public scandal. Mrs. Wallingford is missing. And you thought a setup would help me? If I had known it was going to make you this upset, Hillary, I would not. As far as I'm concerned, you're just one more person I can't trust. I'm sorry you feel that way. So am I. But I'm not interested in apologies. In fact, I don't think I have anything else to say to you. Except this. If you happen to run into your brother, would you please tell him that if I didn't know before, I do now. I don't ever want to see him again. We found her car in the long-term parking lot at JFK Airport. Uh, are you sure it's her car? 1983 gray luxury sedan, leather interior, license plate PET 36. That's it. She's had that license plate for years. Well, according to the attendant, she left the car there the night of June 13th. Oh, great. It's night she disappeared. Well, I hate to be the voice of doom, but you know, JFK is an international airport. Yeah, I know, I know. And that means that she could be anywhere in the world. No, I doubt it. To travel abroad, she'd have to have a passport. Did she and take her passport with her? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I didn't check. We checked with immigration. There's no record of any Phoebe English Tyler Wallingford on any departing international flight anywhere. So, unless she has access to uh, false identification papers, yes. it's safe to assume that she's still in the United States. How long is it going to take if you run a passenger check on all the domestic airlines? Doc, I have somebody working on that at this very moment. All right, so all you really know is that her car is at the airport and she could have flown anywhere. Well, that's more than we knew when we started. There you go. Here's a copy of the report. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh here. Sorry, thanks. Doc, believe me, we're doing everything we can. Yeah, I, uh, appreciate it. Nice meeting you, Miss McMahon. Thank you. Nice to meet you, too. Uh, stay in touch, will you? Don't worry, we'll find her. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Well, Chuck, look at it this way. Uh, she's has a plan. Her car has been found. If she's got a plan, she's probably all right. Yeah. At least they didn't find the car abandoned on some bridge. Chuck. No, I mean it. When grandmother found out about Langley, you know, it could have killed her. I, I think she'll be all right. Really, I do. Well, she better be. I'll tell you that. Look, being angry with a professor isn't going to bring your grandmother back. You know that. Well, maybe not, but I'll tell you one thing. If I can get my hands on Langley right this minute, I'd, I'd rip his face off. I'm sorry you feel that way, Chuck. I know you don't want to see me, but I... I had to come. Is, is Erica here? No, I'm, I'm the only one that's here. I just want to talk to her for a couple of minutes. You can talk to me instead. I'm lonely. What? Here, come sit down. Please, sit down. 
Please. Oh, would you like a chocolate chip cookie? I have a new one. No, thank you. I'm here because I, uh, the threat that you made this morning, I took very seriously. What threat? The threat to Tom and Erica. Ah, oh, Tom and Erica. I know who Erica is, but who's Tom? What? Is he alive or dead? Are you for real? Let's play 20 questions. <laughs> is he alive or dead? <laughs> I don't believe this. He's alive, isn't he? Isn't he? Yes. He's alive. And he better stay that way. Are you mad at me? Am I mad at you? I hate it. I hate it when people get mad at me. I don't have time for this, Mr. Chandler. Wait, 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 please. I thought you wanted to play, to play a game with me. You know what? You are sick. If you do anything to carry that threat out, you're going to have to answer to me. Do you understand that? I hate that. I hate them. I hate them all. I hate them. I hate them! I hate them! I hate them! I hate them! All My Children will continue in a moment. Okay, Angie, listen, just, um, why don't you just tell Jesse that we said congratulations and we'll see him as soon as, as soon as you guys get back, okay? Okay, I gotta go. Bye. All right, bye. Did, um, Carl's and this little league team, Bill Fisher's helping him pitch. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, helping him do that. Um, this, um, salad, uh, what are we gonna do with this salad? Uh, that, that'll keep. Oh, it's really good. Wait, I, wait I, Greg, wait a minute. Hmm? Um, just wait a minute, okay? Um, yeah. I just want to finish that talk that we started when Hillary interrupted us. Oh, oh, yeah, well, by all means. You were uh, telling me the reason why you, you don't want me to take this summer job and, and why I should continue on with summer school. Well, because if you finish school and get a job, we can start thinking about... About what? The future. The future? Mm-hmm. Come on, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I, uh, well, I, I think I do, but uh, I'd sure like to hear you say it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I want to have a baby. Be something else they could do to find a chap. They're doing everything they can. Well, at least she's in the country. That's something. Oh, why not call the bank? See how much money she took. I've out. already taken care of that. Now, according to grandmother's record, there's two thousand dollars missing from her wall safe. Two thousand. Now, either she took it, or somebody else did. If you're accusing me, old boy, she had the combination changed when she found out about Hillary. Yes, I know, but I wouldn't put it past you, Lenny. Even as a safe cracker. Well, I don't blame you. I've lied and misled you. And you have every reason in the world not to trust me, but please believe me when I tell you how much I love your grandmother. Oh, come on. That's a little hard to believe under the circumstances. All I care about is her welfare. What? You've already heard the record. Why don't you leave? Please let me help you find her, Chuck. I don't need your help. I can find my grandmother on my own. Now, if you don't mind, just leave. I'm busy. I've got it! Arizona! What? Phoenix! That's where she went! Oh, yeah. Great. You're gonna tell me that she went to Arizona, what, to visit Opal? No, no, of course not. The Silver Gate! It's our favorite health spa. Why would she visit the Silver Gate? To soothe her bruised ego, to regroup her forces. It's her pattern, Chuck. When she's wounded, she retreats. I don't think you're right. But I'll give him a call. Try, I have a feeling about it, I know. Father. Hello, Hillary. He was just leaving. Oh, excuse me. Yes? When? 